the 5th of June, 2006. Uh, the time is uh, 13, 13 hours. The recordist is Kraus, and the uh, wind is uh, moderate to heavy with gusts. We're at Timber Lake, uh, elevation 2760, uh, north 68 degrees, 22.593 minutes, uh, west 146 degrees, 25.439 minutes. What we're hoping to capture is the sound of the ice shifting and cracking, because Lord willing it's going to be warm enough for the ice to move and that'll be a cool sound. Oh, it's great. It's perfect. Practicing the art of sound recording is just uh, something that has always really resonated with me. It's a way to the heart as well as to the mind, I think, uh, sound is. It's a great way to sort of arouse that natural sort of atavistic sense in us of alertness to the natural world around us that really is, uh, it's soothing, soothing to the soul. The soundscape is the voice of a living habitat and to the extent that it connects with the uh, a perspective of the health of that habitat is what's so critical. I think it does and there are a lot of other people who are beginning to buy into that idea now and that concept. You can see the structure candleized, that's what they call it. But in the Bering Sea and in fact all of them, you know, where there's ice, sun's light travels down here and at the base here, it, uh, there's, well, there's an awful lot of algae. The algae begin to bloom. With the blooming of the algae, then the crustaceans, the amphipods, the copepods, and others, you know, they eat the algae, and then the fish eat the, the uh, crustaceans, and then the seal eat the fish, you know, and of course the polar bear and humans eat the, the seals. If this ice doesn't exist, and it's disappearing very quickly because of global warming, if you don't have the ice, you don't have any, have any of that. Once we do these baseline studies, we'll have a way to measure against uh, changes that are occurring. There's also the aesthetic issue of whether or not the Arctic National Wildlife Refuge is going to be preserved in its natural state, without the developed roads and without the managed wild like happens in the national parks. So that people can see what these places look like and see what, it, it, what this world can be really like, how magical it can be.